Greetings, fellow citizens of Pan Am. I'm Jimmy Wong. And I'm Ashley Adams. We represent District 9, whose bountiful harvest of grain helps feed our great nation. Naturally, we are also skilled at working with the flour we mill. And so today, the Capitol has given us the distinct privilege of sharing a special recipe with you. We're all fans of Pita Malark, proud Victor, and now special counsel to President Snow. But did you know his family runs a renowned bakery back in his home district? The Capitol has generously offered to share one of Pita's precious family recipes with us all. So grab your mixing bowls and ready your measuring cups because we're about to show you how to make Pita Malark's own apple goat cheese tarts. Depending on the district you're in, it may be difficult to find some of these ingredients, but the good citizens of Pan Am are endlessly resourceful, so we're sure that you'll find a way. Let's begin. To hit the ground running, we've already prepared the puff pastry dough. You can make it up to a day ahead of time. Roll out the pastry dough onto a floured surface. Then cut out four circles about four inches in diameter. And put two of the circles on a lined baking sheet. We're gonna cut out smaller circles from the center of the remaining two, leaving us with rings. Beat a single chicken's egg and use it to brush the outer edges of each circle on the baking sheet. Next, place your pastry rings on the top of each circle. Let's prepare our filling. First, mix the goat cheese, the juice of a lemon, and salt in a bowl. Then, spread the mixture inside the rings of the chilled pastry rounds. Overlap your apple slices on top. Melted butter and a quarter cup of honey in a small bowl and brush that over the apples. Last but not least, sprinkle them with allspice. Now, if you don't have easy access to allspice in your district, you can replace that with a pinch of ground cinnamon, a pinch of ground cloves, and a tiny pinch of ground nutmeg. Now, it's time to bake them. Set your oven to 190 degrees. That's 460 for those of you that use Kelvin. And bake until the apples are tender and the pastry is golden. About 35 minutes. In the meantime, we took the liberty of preparing some of the other Malark family recipes, such as pastries, cobblers, and rustic breads, which will all be offered as a gift to our local peacekeeper garrison. It looks like our tarts are ready. Ooh, those look wonderful, but we're not quite done yet. Drizzle one tablespoon of honey over each of the tarts. There you have it. Apple goat cheese tarts that look just as delicious as the ones from Pita's Bakery. Love your labor. Take pride in your task. Our future is in your hands. And don't forget to register for updates from Capital TV. It's mandatory.